the truly glorious Christian. Glory has been defined as admiration and praise that one gets because he or she has done something impressive. It is great honor, praise, distinction, or renown. Every Christian wants to be glorious, but many are looking for glory in the wrong way and in the wrong places. In Galatians chapter 1 verse 10, Paul said, Now, do you think I am trying to make people accept me? No, God is the one I am trying to please. Am I trying to please people? If I wanted to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. That's the easy to read version. Unlike Paul, many Christians today are out to please and receive praise from their fellow human beings. Such people practice hypocrisy, eye service, and so on. Some tell outright lies to those at the top just to look good. These people end up with fake glory that is only on the surface and will not last into eternity. They are approved by men. They receive praise and titles from men. Unfortunately, this kind of glory never allows one to give attention to the development of the real inner man. Therefore, unlike Apelles, who was mentioned in Romans chapter 16 verse 10, those who carry about this fake glory never get approved in Christ. Carriers of fake glory are like Eliab, Jesse's firstborn, whom Samuel wanted to anoint as king over Israel. However, the Lord said to Samuel, Eliab is tall and handsome, but don't judge by things like that. God doesn't look at what people see. People judge by what is on the outside, but the Lord looks at the heart. Eliab is not the right man. That's 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7, the, new, the easy to read version. Many Christians look good and glorious on the outside, but when God looks at them, what he sees is the opposite. What Jesus said to some people in Matthew 23, verses 27 and 28, is very true of many born-again Christians today. It will be bad for you, teachers of the law, and you Pharisees. You are hypocrites. You are like tombs that are painted white. Outside they look fine, but inside they are full of dead people's bones and all kinds of filth. It is the same with you. People look at you and think you are godly, but on the inside you are full of hypocrisy and evil. That's the easy to read version. The really glorious Christian is one that receives from God the kind of testimony he gave concerning our Lord Jesus Christ. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. That is the Christian who can honestly say like our Lord Jesus, And he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. John chapter 8 verse 29. To be in this kind of glorious situation, we need to follow the instruction in Romans chapter 13 verse 14. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the laws thereof. The easy to read version of that scripture says, but be like the Lord Jesus Christ, so that when people see what you do, they will see Christ. Don't think about how to satisfy the desires of your sinful self. Now, how is Jesus, and what do people look like when they put him on? Philippians chapter 2, verses 19 to 30. With the blessing of the Lord Jesus, I hope I will be able to send Timothy to you soon. I will be glad to learn how you are. I have no one else like Timothy who genuinely cares for you. Others are interested only in their own lives. They don't care about the work of Christ Jesus. You know the kind of person Timothy is. He has served with me in telling the good news like a son with his father. I plan to send him to you quickly as soon as I know what will happen to me. I am sure the Lord will help me come to you soon. For now, I think I must send Epaphroditus back to you. He is my brother in God's family who works and serves with me in the Lord's army. When I needed help, you sent him to me, but now he wants very much to see all of you again. He is worried because you heard that he was sick. He was sick and near death, but God helped him and me too, so that I would not have even more grief. So I want very much to send him to you. When you see him, you can be happy, and I can stop worrying about you. Welcome him in the Lord with much joy. Give honor to people like Epaphroditus. He should be honored because he almost died for the work of Christ. He put his life in danger so that he could help me. This was help that you could not give me. That's the easy to read version. Anyone who is putting on the Lord Jesus lives for just one purpose, to give God pleasure. He does not selfishly seek his own, but is more interested in the things that promote the glory of God, just like our Lord Jesus Christ. 
For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. John chapter 6, verse 38. The truly glorious Christian cares genuinely for others. He is not a pretender or hypocrite. He is different from all those who profess to love Christ, but show him hatred with practically every step they take. He is faithful and dependable before God and man. He counts his life as nothing for Christ's sake. He is one whose life is a Christ-like fragrance rising up to God. That is the kind of Christian that is truly that God is truly proud of. Are you truly enjoying that inner glory that will last into eternity? May the Lord make us glorious Christians in His sight. In Jesus' name, Amen.